Now I am going to solve this problem 12120. In this problem, we are given that car travels along the circular path such that its speed is increased by. So we are given the tangential acceleration as a function of time, right? So e t equals to 0 0.5 e to the power t, and it is in meter per second square, and it is said that determine the magnitude of its velocity and acceleration of the after the car has traveled s is equal to 18 meters right so we have to find the velocity and acceleration of the car after the distance traveled is 18 meters starting from rest right and it is said that neglect the size of the car right so now since this is the acceleration given as a function of time so we can write that the acceleration this will be at is dv by dt and this is 0 0.5 e to the power t so then dv will be equal to 0 0.5 et dt and then we will integrate this we will integrate this from 0 to v and this will be from 0 to t right so this will be v minus 0 and this will be 0 0.5 and the integration of e to the power t is again e to the power t and this will be from 0 to t right and now when we uh, put these boundary conditions so this will be 0 0.5 e to the power t minus when we put this 0 0.5 e to the power 0 so e to the power 0 is 1 right so this will be 1 so now if i take 0 0.5 common from this so this will be e to the power t minus 1 so this is the velocity equation right and now uh, if we want to find the position function right so then v is equal to ds by dt so this will be equal to 0 0.5 e to the power t minus 1 and if I bring this dt to the other side so then we need to integrate this so then this will be from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t and then this will be s minus 0 if we integrate this and this will be 0 0.5 and when we integrate this so then this will be e to the power t minus and this will be t right so minus 1 dt will be equal to 1 t right and this will be from 0 to t right so this will give us s minus 0 equals to and then we need to put uh, these boundary conditions so then this will be e to the power t minus t and then minus and then 0 0.5 e to the power 0 minus 0 right so this will be equal to 0 0.5 e to the power t minus 0 0.5 t and this will be minus this is e, uh, e to the power 0 is 1 again so this is 0 0.5 right so if we take 0 0.5 common so then this will be e to the power t minus t minus 1 right so this is the position function right now from this equation let's say this is equation a if we use this equation so we are given s is equal to 18 meters so now when s is equal to 18 meters we can find t by using this equation right so we can write that this is 0 0.5 et minus t minus 1 equals to 18 meters right and we can write this et minus t minus 1 if we divide both sides by 0 0.5 so then this will become 30 uh, 36 or we can say that this is et minus t and if we bring this minus 1 to the other side of the equation so then this will be 36 plus 1 so this will become 37 right so we can say that this is 37 right so now uh, we cannot solve this function directly right there is no direct solution of this problem right so we will use the method of uh, hit and trial method right so let's say that this is y of t function right so this is y of t function and its value is 37 right so we will substitute random values of t and we will find the value of this function for which this value will be closer the value of this function will be closer to 37 right so let me put uh, let me draw a table first now let's start from t equals to 3 second right so let's say when t is equal to 3 seconds when we substitute t equals to 3 second in this y of t function so this comes out to be 17.09 right so this is 17.09 now when t is equal to 3.5 seconds so y of t value comes out to be uh, 29.62 and when this value is 
0.65 so this value comes out to be 34.82 and when this value is 3.70 so it comes out to be 36.75 and when this t value is 3.75 so this value comes out to be 38.77 right so this means that the t value is somewhere between 3.70 and 3.75 right so we can take this uh, t value as approximate value right so this means that when t is approximately equal to 3.70 this y of t function value is 37 right so this means that the the car takes t equals to approximately equals to 3.70 second to travel this much distance right so now we know this t so now we can substitute this t value in this equation so we will find the tangential acceleration so let's say this is equation one and we can find the velocity magnitude by using this equation two right so now if i put uh, this t value in this equation so this will give us the tangential acceleration value so this is 0.5 e to the power 3.70 so now uh, a t the tangential acceleration value comes out to be 20.22 meter per second square and similarly we can find the velocity value this is 0 0.5 we will substitute t value in this equation so this will be e to the power 3.70 minus 1 right so this will give us the velocity value at that particular instant so the velocity value comes out to be 19.72 meter per second and the normal component of the acceleration will be equal to v square divided by rho rho value is given this is 30 meter and now we know the velocity value so this is 19.72 whole square divided by rho which is 30 so the normal component of acceleration comes out to be 12.96 meter per second square and the acceleration magnitude will be equal to a t square plus a n square square root right so this acceleration magnitude will be equal to so a t is 20.22 whole square and this is 12.96 whole square and we will take the square root so the acceleration magnitude comes out to be 24.02 meter per second square and the velocity magnitude is this much this is 19.72 meter per second when the cars travel a uh, distance of 18 meters about this uh, track right so this is the solution of this particular problem